Hi sweethearts, uh, welcome back to my channel. I hope that everybody is well. Uh, today's video is just gonna be a bit of a simple one. Um, I'm filming this more so for like my own benefit, just so I can see how much progress I've made. But today is going to be a binder kind of flip through, not update, a flip through, uh, just to see how much progress I've made since I started collecting in January, like properly. So I just want to see how much progress I've made in the last three months. Uh, this is a Young binder. Uh, he is my bias. So he is the one that I am collecting at the moment. Uh, yeah, I don't have a print at the moment to put in the front because I haven't found one that I like quite enough just yet. So um, when I do find one, that will be the first thing to go in there. Sorry, my voice sounds a bit like weird at the moment. Hay fever again. I don't know, with the weather in England lately, just the pollen has just been so high, the pollen count. So, um, struggling with that, but hey-ho, let's get started. Um, okay, so this section over here, this is just like a list of things that I need to like get. Well, that's on like my radar to get. Um, yeah, nothing interesting there. And this was from the Daikon, which is a bit bulky to go in this bit. But um, I wanted it still in the binder, so I just left it there. But if we start from over here, okay, so we've got the OIE. Oh, so this is like their early albums page. Uh, you can see that I finished my album collection. If you watched my last Nyokyo haul, you'll see that I finished my album collection. But um, we have OIE oh, Late 2, School Love Affair Special Edition, Dark and Wild uh hyh part two dope and you never walk alone these two i haven't completed because they're like extra additionals i don't know if i want to collect these but i've just put a space for them anyway eventually um because this one has his name but this one has the oh i late two um album title names i thought that would be nice to have that because i'm i am really a completionist of everything literally trust me <laughs> um and the school of affair original print uh, of the special edition back in 2014. Oh, by the way, these aren't like the nicest looking fillers um, ever because I was just making them in a rush. I just needed to like put in there so I knew kind of what I'm looking for and you'll find that as a theme throughout the rest of this binder update that I just do things quickly. Don't have time for the aesthetic at the moment, I'm afraid, but you know, it is what it is. Um, I like this page. The thing is, let's turn it over. Um, the back's quite cute. The thing is, I don't know whether I'm going to keep it. So at the moment, it goes... At the moment, I think it goes... Well, I don't know if this page goes like that, but it goes like this. And then it goes like this. But um, I don't know if I want to keep it in that like L-shape formation, but you'll see. Uh, this page is my school of affairs. Still a bit iffy about this one. If you saw, again, my last Nyokyo haul, this one is a bit, mm, I don't know about it. I think it's real, but I'm not sure. Um, and this again, I put it in a three page because I didn't want to put it like, there's a page that goes like the, what is this? This is horizontal, so vertical. <laughs> there's a page that goes vertical, but um, I didn't want it to have it like that way up. I wanted to like see it. So um, I put it in a three and thought, oh, it would look nice with the school love affair in the middle. And I do like it, but I think I'm, what I'm going to do is going to make this a bit smaller. So it's like the same size as this. So it's all like uniform going down, if you know what I mean. Because I'm not sure that I like it so big. Um, and yeah, the two pockets will be far too big to put this in. So I just thought, OK, let me just shrink this down and then I'll complete that one. But I do like the way that that looks, just in the three pocket. Okay, and then we move on to HYH part one. Um, Young Forever Wings and the Persona postcard. Um, this this card right here is very special to me because um, it came from, it was the first tay postcard postcard i'm an idiot photo card that i pulled out of one of my own albums that i was bought so that has a very uh special place in my heart because it's my first tay pull and i just love it like <laughs> makes me feel good every time i look at it um and these i bought them 
from like sellers I didn't pull any of these uh this is H -O -O -A. although I'm a bit iffy about this one because I was looking at I got I bought an album the other day not the other day like a few weeks months ago and um I was comparing this I pulled Jim in in my album and I was comparing it and it just looked ever so slightly off like nothing that's noticeable but just ever so slightly I was a bit mm, about it so I might repurchase this one I don't know yet but um when I get my next album the what do I have I have the pinkish version of this so when I get the like whitish blue version then I will um have a look and see if that matches up as well but I don't know but yeah I like this page in the full pocket it's cute and we've got a little blue hair tay which I personally think is the best tay to be honest blue hair tay really does something for me um and I've noticed his signature's changed as well like they look different is it just me no it's not just me sorry they actually do look different I don't know that's quite cool I like this one though I do like like this bit here it looks cute and then <laughs> so we get on to uh this page which is this is the start of the love yourself uh albums um yeah so we have the l shape again for l-o-v-e y-o-u-r let me just tell you now everyone thinks that this is the difficult card to get hold of it's not this card was so easy for me to get hold of it i must have searched it on makari for like two times and then i found it but the difficult ones oh my god these cards were bitches this card here and this card here they were so difficult to find i was searching for this for weeks and nobody was selling it i couldn't find it on makari nothing deep up ebay nowhere had this card um and i was getting really frustrated i was like why can't i find this bloody card like why is it so difficult it's a really popular set um and then eventually I found it just because uh, I must have been, it was along with this card as well, uh, version F from Answer. I was just, I can't remember what I was browsing. I was browsing something and then I magically came upon a seller who was selling. This is like how I know God exists, right? Because he was set, they were selling this and this card together and I was like what are the odds that these two cards that I'm searching for frantically would be coming from the same seller so I bought it straight away didn't care how much well it didn't cost me a lot of money it was a good price um didn't care how much it cost I bought it and I was like right I'm so happy now because it took me so long to find those two cards you wouldn't even believe it and I can understand because this is a really nice card. But this one, I don't know why this took me so long to find, but it was mission impossible. Literally, I was getting so annoyed. Like, it was one of the last cards I found before I started to um, ship my Makari package out to me. So I'm so happy and relieved to have that um, in my binder, you know, because just the stress of getting those three cards alone was enough to just, ugh. Anyway, uh, and then I put a little tear and, no, sorry, that's tear and that's her flower in there. I don't know if I'm going to stick with these um, fillers, but just for now, I think they're cute. Oh, also as well, just as I'm saying, not all of these are sleeved. Um, I don't actually have the sleeves yet. <laughs> Every time I go to buy them, I can't find them anywhere. They get lost. They don't get lost. They sell out, sorry. So, um when I do eventually get the sleeves don't worry I will double sleeve them like it's okay but right now they're just as they are and this one this one apparently as well is quite hard to find but I found this really I wasn't even looking for this when I found it I was looking for this card I was looking for this one and the same seller was selling that one as well so I was like oh for a really good price as well so I was like let me just jump onto that um yes we have the answer uh i love your uh yeah <laughs> i can't spell s-e-l-f bloody hell like and i do a literature degree a master's in literature by the way and i can't spell so that's interesting that will tell you all that you need to know um yeah these aren't my favorite ones as i've said before i just don't like the colors on them i just i can't there's something about the color grading on these that just puts me off but I'm still happy to have them. Uh, this is a random Seasons Greetings um, Seasons Greetings ID card that I've put here just because I don't have any of the other ones yet and I needed just a place to put it because 
Um, I don't have the sleeves either to put them all four in. And so it was just a random spot. Okay, let's get over that. <laughs> and then um, we have the Persona, uh, which I do really like these. I'm, spoiler, going to collect an OT7 set of version two. I had to decide because I didn't want to get all four of them. But because um, I really liked, whose was it? I think it was like Namjoon's or JK's version two. I really liked. So I was like, okay, let me just collect a set for that. Uh, otherwise, I would have collected probably all four of them, but I cannot collect all four of them. That's a ridiculous choice. So, um, yeah, but my favourite, literally, Blue Hair Tay is special, you know? It's really special to me. Um, this binder is probably going to go through, like, a transformation, because, I, as I said, I really don't know if I want to keep the L. At the moment, I like it, but if I was to go just across, the blank space would be here, and I don't know if I want it here. I think I'd rather it in the middle, but um, I'm not sure yet. So we will find out in my next binder update what I do with those pages. I'm really out of breath. Sorry. Like, if you can hear me breathing on this camera, like, I do have, like, lung issues. So um, I'm really out of breath and I feel like I'm talking really fast and it's, like, really agitating me. But, um, yeah, let's carry on. Okay, so this is BTS World. Uh, what was the hardest one to find? This was probably the hardest thing to find. And the one that I did find, it's like slightly yellow on the back. So I'm kind of like oh, about it, but I might replace it in a bit. I don't mind it too much right now because it's like a fairly, well, I say it was difficult to find. It's not fairly simple to find again, but like it's not high priority at the moment. But the difficult one to find in this set is this, the luggage tag. I can't find it, but it's literally the last card I need for my album set. Like, I've completed all the rest of, like, the album cards. But this card here, nobody's selling it anywhere. Not Depop, not eBay, not Facebook, not even Macari. Like, I cannot find it. So it's really, like, stressing me out because, like, I just want to complete this page. Like, I don't like it like this, but when I get that, I might reshuffle it. But I wouldn't know how else to put it on a nine pocket. So I'm just like, oh, what do I do? Like, I'm really bad with, like, spacing things out. Like, I never know where to put anything. So, um, yeah, that's my struggle. I found this quite simply, easily, sorry. I found this one quite easily. Um, but it's just this one that's pissing me off. Like, I can't find it anywhere. Like, I'm getting so annoyed. Uh, but yeah, that's BTS World. It's a cute little face in the back. And then, to be honest, this is one of my favourite pages in my binder because I became ARMY just before the drop of Map of the Soul 7, so in January 2020, I became ARMY, and then this dropped in February, my birth month, hey. Um, so um, it dropped in the best month of the year, and I just have an attachment to Map of, like a serious attachment to Map of the Soul 7, so of course I had to like find me straight away. Um, I think though, controversial opinion, but I think out of like these four, this is the best concept and photo card of Tay. One of, like, generally, this is what made me, like, fall in love when I saw this photo card and when I saw this concept in him. It's the uh, the home screen, not so not my lock screen, but my home screen. Is that photo of him holding the teacup. Um, you'll know which one I mean. That, I saw that and I genuinely fell in love. I think that's when I fell in love is when I saw that. So, uh, like, that is my favourite photo of Tay of all time. And I know a lot of people like this one. And I love this one too. But this one, they just look so grown and just so sexy in this one. I just think, yes, I would like a slice of whatever he is serving there. <laughs> um, so, yeah, no, this is, like, my favourite concept. Um, this is like my favourite set of cards, sorry, uh, that I have from the album collection. Oh, and maybe her. I like her and Map of the Soul. Um, and then we've got, oh my god, every time I look at B, I get like stressed because how many drops of B did, uh, Bikit or Hybe, 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 um, launch for like lucky draws and things like that. Like thinking about it now. <coughs> Thinking about it now gets me, like, a little bit stressed, but it's okay. Um, I, yeah, so I have these. Um, this I bought from Macari, which obviously was a bit expensive because I bought it just as the album dropped and now I found it for so much cheaper. But, 
you know, you live and you learn. I That's the thing about me. I've made so many mistakes in collecting. Like some of these cards were definitely overpriced, 100% hold my hands up. And that's because I went into collecting without knowing how to collect properly or how to get like the best deals. So I, as soon as I saw things, I just started buying them straight away. Like, oh yeah, that's probably a good price. Oh, that. don't do that. Honestly, don't do that. Literally do your research and look for how you should collect things. I think there's loads of videos on YouTube how to do it. Maybe one day I'll make a video of all like the mistakes I made collecting. But um, yeah, don't make stupid decisions and do what I did. And also find a good way to collect things because I'll talk about that in a bit. But um, yeah, so I have the deluxe the essential and the uh essential photo card because i only pulled groups in mine which was kind of upsetting but i like the group card anyway so it's what it is also this is his uh pre-order benefit which as you see in my channel again i pulled uh jimin and then i put him up to trade uh on facebook and yep a girl reached out to me and said that she would like to trade jimin for tay because she pulled tay but i am uh waiting for it because uh it's at her korean address she's waiting to get it shipped over to her so as soon as she gets it shipped over we can do that trade but i do have that so that is there and then you'll get to the page now which stresses me out the most we have the be lucky draw page now the thing with this is, I was never originally going to collect Lucky Draws. It was never, like, a thing on my radar until I saw how beautiful they looked. And then I saw the hype of everyone getting them. And I was like, oh, my God, I need to get them. I know that's a really bad mentality to have. But it really got to me. So I was like, OK, I'm just going to do it. Um, So these Be Lucky Draws here are the original, original ones that came out when um, I think it was the deluxe version came out. Uh, you know, the ones with the signatures on the back? Yeah, those. I have seen, like, one or two of them floating around, but um, they're not that easy to come by. So, eventually, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that I will have uh, something for those two. And then uh, the Soundwave and M2U ones are the ones for the B Essential album that have come out. Those are a ridiculous price at the moment. Oh my god, people actually need to calm down on the pricing of these because they came for free with the album. Like, let's all just relax here. The prices are crazy, but um, no, yeah. So um, those two I will get soon. I have seen them and I have seen a couple that are like cheaper than what most are going for. So they obviously won't be there when I go back to go and buy them, but um, we will hope. And then, so for the Grammys ones, uh, <laughs> now my thought process behind this was because the Japanese ones are holographic, if I don't buy those at the price that, the normal price that they're going for, like with the deluxe album, um, then I will never get them because they will go for hundreds, depending on what they look like. If they look like the ones with like the stars on his face and the hearts, maybe. Oh, no, sorry, I will never get those. But with these, I was like, why take the chance? Why get them? Why not just get them as cheap as I possibly can? So I joined a go and I asked for Tay for both the hollows, for the Japanese hollows. However, I don't know if I will get him in my go because obviously he's quite a popular member to collect. So I feel like there might be like one or two other people in my go that are looking for Tay. However, the go manager did say that most people have selected Hyunglein. So I might have like a good chance of getting him for both of them. Even if I just get one for him and not for the other, that's okay because I will trade it. Well, I'll try and find a trade, but um, yeah, we're hoping. And then I the other ones for the Grammys, the normal ones, MTU and Soundwave ones, they were never really on my radar until I was like, oh, well, I might as well. My completionist brain set in. So I was like, I might as well get the whole set. So that was like interesting. Uh, yeah, so I it ruined it because originally I was just going to do like that. And then I was like, oh, but where are the other Grammys ones going to go? So I was like, oh, shit, now I've got to put them <laughs> here. So, um, yeah, this page, if it ever fills out. I will literally be the happiest person alive because I would have known the stress that it took me to get these. Um, okay, so now after we've done the album P 
pcs we have the japanese one my handwriting on this i'm just looking back at it now and it looks crap like, um, i actually have really nice handwriting what i think is really nice handwriting but as i said before i was just writing these in a rush like i was like let me just slap them in there um so it looks really shit right now but i promise you i do have good handwriting but uh yeah so after i collected all of the korean albums i was like I'm going to take a break from collecting like album pieces. I'm not going to go straight into the Japanese album ones because, you know, I just want to collect other things. And I think other things are a lot more exciting than the Japanese ones. So I was like, OK, let's just leave that. These aren't all of like the Japanese. See, that it, as I said, like there's one gap here, but I don't know if I like that. I don't know. We'll see. But um, yeah, these aren't all of the Japanese cards, but these are the ones that I think will fit into nine pockets, if I'm correct. So, um, yeah. Okay, this is the best of BTS. I think it was best of BTS. Uh, yeah. Uh, for the Korean and Japanese version, I might switch these two around. But I was liking how they looked like that. I don't know. I just liked the way they look. I know. I think other people have them other way around, but I kind of like them like that. I was vibing with them like that. Oh shit sorry swearing so much um i kind of like the way that they looked like that so i thought let me just leave it like that for now and then okay so these here these are empty i was originally no so after i finished the albums i was like okay what am i going to collect next i was starting to make like a, a like a list of things i was going to go through next and i decided to start on the wings um the wings pieces and then i thought to myself Oh my god, I really don't have the energy right now to do wings. <laughs> There's just so many PCs for that. And I was like, I just don't have the energy. And I'm a busy girl, you know, I've got a degree to get. So I was like, let me not go into wings just yet. Let me look for other things now because I really, I don't have the mental capacity right now to go through wings. Um, so I just kind of left those there, but this PC, this is in the wrong place. This needs to go behind this, uh, but this PC, oh my God, this PC cost me an arm, a leg, a heart, and also probably my brain too. But I know that this is like a, not an easy PC to come by. And I was like, it was my birthday back in February and I was like, oh I really want it and the seller she was really nice to me like we got into a good conversation she was like oh you're so nice to me everyone complains about the price blah, 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 blah. um but I was like do you know what it's my birthday and I don't I haven't come across this uh image yet this pc yet in another place so I feel like I made a good choice there um and it was for my own birthday present so I was like whatever so I got it I bought it um and I'm happy to have it because it's one of the rarer pcs it's the epilogue uh no it's the 2015 bts live on stage i'm sure that's epilogue is it i could be completely wrong listen i've just woken up full disclosure so, <laughs> so um yeah i don't know but i was really happy also this won't stay in a three pocket page uh i want to put it in a six but i also don't know like a six that way but i also don't know what else i'd put in the six i know the other one of this prologue i think it is um, would go next to it but I wouldn't know what to put in the other four so um, sorry I'm shaking the camera um, so I just left it in the three pocket for now because it was in the two pocket and I was like oh no also I want to sleeve these things but I don't know where to get like sleeves from so if anybody knows for, like these kind of size things do let me know because I would like to know um, you've got another wings page but I'm not going back to wings just yet so I was like, oh, okay. When I do my whole binder reorganisation, that will get, like, fixed. But right now, it's not. Um, okay, so... Oh, I hate the way that this looks. Oh, my God. Hang on, let me just move that. How did that get like that? So, these used to be... Okay. <laughs> Whenever I look at Bam Bang Con, I kind of get, like... I don't have bad memories attached to it, but I have, like... Oh, like memories attached to it because um i'll explain so basically i saw these not i saw these sorry originally these were in a six pocket uh you know the six pocket horizontal ones and i was like yeah that's kind of cool 
but um, then I started to grow a bit tired of it. I was like, oh, I don't know if I actually really like this. Um, so I was looking at some binder uh, flip throughs just to see if I could get some inspiration for Bam and Com. And I can't remember for the life of me, honestly, I can't remember whose it was, but they put them in four pocket uh, pages and I was like, oh, let me try that out. So I did this the other day. I tried it and I was like, oh, I actually kind of like it in four pocket pages, you know. So I've kept it in a four pocket page. Before it used to be the gold one on top in the middle and then these three at the bottom. But um, I do kind of like it like this. But yeah, as I was saying, like, when I look at the Bam Bang Con stuff, I kind of have, like, not bad memories, but just awkward memories. Because uh, this was one of the first things that I started collecting, Bam Bang Con, because I saw, like, these. I was like, okay, let me just go into that. And I bought three of these individually. Uh, yeah, I bought three individually. And then I was like, whenever I see the gold card, I'm just going to get it. But it was really hard to find. Like, this was before I knew about, like, Macari and places like that. So I was solely shopping on, like, eBay and Depop. And no one had this card, obviously. Uh, so when I did come across it, I came across it in a set. And I was like, oh, for piss sake. Like, now I'm going to have to go through. I don't like selling things, to be honest. Like, it's a whole long process. But um, I was like, oh, great. Now I'm going to have to sell, like... No, I asked her first. I was like, oh, can I have, um just the gold one like can I be cheeky and ask for just the gold one she was like oh no I'm not selling it just the gold one you'll have to buy the whole set so I was like oh for piss sake I'll, let me just buy the whole set and then sell the other three but then it took me longer to sell these three so I was like oh just like wasting money you know but um I have sold them all now they're all gone I don't have any of them so I do look at this little, little bit of a set with a little bit of a like uh. but I do he looks so good in them so it kind of makes up for it it's all right um, do you know whose card of this I really like? I really like um, Yoongi's, so um, I'm going to collect an OC7, but I like Yoongi's because his message on it is something about, um, don't worry if you weren't with us from the start, you're here now, that's kind of all that matters, and like, the day you found us is the day we debuted, so I was like, oh, that, re that really rang true in my heart, and like, had a special place there, because I was like, I obviously didn't find them when they first debuted and they mean so much to me now so it's just nice that he kind of acknowledged like you know if you went with us with the first, from the start it was fine so I like that his card really means a lot to me so I will be collecting no T7 but for that one uh, I will put it in obviously in a six pocket but I won't have Taze with OT7 because it will just look weird otherwise having one full page of six and then one seven when he's already in here so I thought that was kind of cool um okay yeah so then we have the mini pcs i'm like probably shaking this camera all over the gaff i'm sorry i'm sat at my desk so if it's like shaking i'm like really sorry but um yeah so bam bam con this wasn't too difficult to find i think i found everything okay except for this one number three number three seems to be a recurring thing in this bam bam con set because everyone can't find number three for the postcard either so um, I did find this. It's currently sat in my uh, warehouse space in, at Makari, Neokyo. Neokyo, sorry, not Makari. So um, I will have it. It'll be in my next Makari haul. But um, it was such a bastard to find. Like, nobody was selling number three. Everyone had, like, number one or, like, number... What else was there? Like, number seven or, like, silly numbers like that. But no one had the number three. And I was like, why is this one so difficult to find? um but I have found it so I'm happy that this set will be complete and I bought three of these from a store in England uh that was selling them so I was like oh okay for a good price and I was like ah oh, yes okay cool let me jump on that so I jumped on that um and I really like like how satisfying the back looks like they look really cool love that um okay and I'm so happy to have this uh page um I am happy to have this page completed because I know so many people don't have the three but I have the three so I was really happy to have that it looks cool the only problem I have with this page is the fact that it doesn't fit these are Andy Jack sleeves of course notorious Andy Jack sleeves these are those but it doesn't fit so uh whose was it it was Kate's channel I'll link her down below. She found some larger full pockets. So I might have a gander around for... Uh, I'm shaking the camera again. I'm such an idiot. 
um, <laughs> might have a gander around for those larger full pockets because I don't know if I like the fact that they're sticking out because I don't want the like top to get damaged like I'm, I'm a bit of an idiot and I can be really clumsy and I just don't want them to get damaged because I love these cards so much like, because he looks so good looking but um, instead of me spiralling let me turn the page but yeah I'm happy to have a four set of those and then okay so this is the map of the soul this set as well oh my god so this was fairly simple to find except for this bloody number one nobody had this number one in fact somebody did on depop but every time i messaged her she would take days to respond so there's me thinking okay this might be a scam until eventually this is when i started to discover makari and i was like hang on a second number one might be on there so i had a look and there were loads of number ones i was like thank god i found it like miracles do happen because i could not find this anywhere even on ebay someone on ebay was selling it for like i swear to god like 30 40 pound and i was like they were in america and then it cost like 15 pound to ship to england and i was like this card is not worth that <laughs> why is anybody selling it for that price it's crazy but um yeah i found this for like really good on makari so um i was like cool and i'm really happy to have this set although this is the same as the Bambancon ones, so I'm not sure why they did that. Why not just give us eight of these in this outfit, you know, than four and four. But, you know, who knows why Big Hit does what Big Hit does. <laughs> um, I really like the backs of these as well. Like, it's just really satisfying when you see, like, a pack of eight, like, completed. Like, oh. And then these one cards as well. Okay, so as I was saying before, like, I made so many mistakes in collecting at the start. And it was mainly to do with, like, these sets. Because I bought them, a lot of them, like, singly. But this was, like, off of eBay. And everyone knows, everyone on eBay, like, overprices and overcharges. So I spent a lot on, like, these sets individually. When it's much better to buy them, if you can, in, like, sets don't buy them individually because it will run up costs and you'll get them all for different people sell them for different prices so far i think the best prices i've found have been like makari and facebook i haven't actually bought anything off of facebook yet because i jumped onto that quite late after like depop after makari after like ebay uh so i had most of the stuff before i was looking but i facebook has been quite good i haven't jumped onto instagram yet um because that's a whole i don't really i'm not a massive fan of instagram to be honest in general so i don't really like like to go on it but um facebook has been really good and makari's been really good to me so if you are collecting start there also as well <laughs> so when i first started collecting i would just collect whatever i could find anything with taste face on it i could i'd be like yep have that have that have that wasn't really checking prices like it's a really bad decision okay guys like don't do what i did but if I was to like have one piece of advice, I would say to you, start with album, album PCs. I started with, I think these were some of the first things I bought. Um, it, well, it was this. No, 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 no. The first thing I bought was that Tay Map of the Soul version three card. But then uh, just because I saw it at that time and I thought it was like really rare and I was like, oh my God, I need that card. So I bought it. Um but these were the things i properly started with first so if you're going to start collecting don't start collecting here or if you are going to collect them alongside the album pieces the sunlight is like shining down i think here this shadow here is like my plant that you can see so sorry about that but um i'm filming right in front of my window so you can probably hear cars in the background as well i'm so sorry about that uh but yeah don't start here start with the album pcs and work your way through those um that's what i'm doing that's the best piece of advice i can give you if you're collecting now because you can get these but i think it just looks better and you'll feel more i have definitely felt more accomplished when i um i am so sorry for knocking this camera i'm sat in front of you at my desk so <laughs> i can just see it shaking but um yeah i felt so much more accomplished knowing that i finished all the album pieces and i was up to date and i was like oh yes feels good i feel like i have something to show in my binder <laughs> um but yeah start there but um yeah these are the postcards these were like i thought i got scammed for these because 
I bought these on eBay. They were a good price on eBay for two of them. So I bought them. But on, on the thing, it was like, um, on the sales and sales description, it was like, please wait because I can only get to a post office like once a week or something like that because they have a job and they work and they are not free all the time. So I was like, cool. And then it took her like, it took them, I want to say like two weeks to send it or something like that. And then I waited like two weeks delivery and it still hadn't arrived so I messaged them and I was like hey like it hasn't arrived you know what's happened have you even sent it and she's like yeah I sent it but like covid delays so they were like the other day I had someone who bought something signed delivery and it took three weeks to get to them so like I don't really know what's going on but they came literally the day after I sent that so I was like for goodness sake <laughs> but I really like these they're kind of thick as well like when I first felt them they were thick um so there's that and then uh so I put this in the other day I was like let me just put in because I had bought like loads of nine pockets from Andy Jack he like restocked so I bought like I think two sets of ten or something like that and I was like what's gonna fit into the nine pockets and I was like I know the memories like dvd sorts of things so um I was like okay cool let me just put a pocket in for that because there is one the blue head one I don't I think it might be 2019 it might be 2018 one of the two could even be wrong it could be 20 when did he have blue hair boy in love persona so when was that that was i have no idea sorry right now my brain's not working but um i want to get like the blue one with him holding the rose like pretty soon because i really like that one anything blue head i'm telling you it's for me um and again i like the wings ones previously i was going to collect the cloud cars next but i realized I don't want to get those just yet. I do have like a list of things I'm going to get. These were on the maybe pile for when I next do like a shop. Um, but it's not a high enough priority for me yet to want that one. So I was like, cool. I'll just leave it there for now because I have the six pockets um, pages. So I was like, well, yeah, that's the only thing that's going to fit in there. So let me just stay with that. And then the guest cards. I've seen these, but these are quite hard to get for the, I think it's fifth muster. Was this the last muster that they did? Um, yeah, so we'll find those eventually. They'll be quite difficult to collect, but we'll find them. Uh, so this was like a catch-all page, like a throwaway kind of page. This will have like all the randoms, or like the coin, coin pieces or like the, the, ring binder piece you know all them weird ones that you get in merch this will be that page um we've got the two army bonds here so right now so that's like kind of cool to be honest have those there um but yeah this page will fill up i think pretty quickly because i think these are in a lot of the list of what i'm gonna get next because like it some of them come from like the map of the soul tour so i want to complete my map of the soul tour match kind of thing that's why that would be done pretty quickly and then we go into oh this lenticular so this lenticular <laughs> i bought this for such a good price and i think the person realized that it's probably too good of a price because after that they went back and they like up to the price of all of them so I was like because they were selling all of them and I was like okay I just want Taze so I bought Taze and then I was like oh yeah it's a really good price that you're selling these for and then like I went back like a day later and the rest of them had all upped in price like up to what I've normally seen them go for so I'm happy that I got this like a bit cheaper than normal but I don't know if you can see that on camera his face and the logo cute love that love the lenticular sort of stuff that they go through that they sell sorry that they have not even sell i should say okay so now we've got like seasons greetings this is 2020 mini poster cute in a one pocket nice i have nothing really to say too tough about this one let's pull that up um this is honestly oh my god this is honestly one of my favorite photos of tate ever it just screams perfection. Like, I look at it and I just think, oh my God, you are probably the most beautiful person I've ever seen in my whole entire life. Like, stunning. The hair, the glasses, the face, this whole outfit that he was wearing in the season's greeting, like, DVD. Stunning, breathtaking. He is beauty, he is grace. 
he literally punched me in my face with this photo. Like, I'm telling you, he's gorgeous. <laughs> um, and here, obviously, as well. But this one, this was 2021, right? It wasn't 2020. This was 20, no, this is 21. But, um, yeah, no, I was, like, I was blown away when I saw this. I was like, I have to have this. So I was like, oh, you know, it's so good. You know, it's so good there. But um, even my sister, my sister was like, oh, she's not, like, a K-pop fan or anything. She's like, oh, she looks really good there, like really good looking i was like oh i know right so um happy to have that uh i do want to get the season's greetings stuff like uh, quickly because i want to get the things that come out kind of yearly quick so winter packages summer packages uh season's greetings i want to catch up on those because i don't want to be like behind on them um so this i was also going to get in my makari next makari haul but I was like, okay, let me just have a quick look on eBay and see what it's selling for. Um, so, sorry, someone's just messaged me on my phone. <laughs> I'm filming on my phone. Um, but no, yeah, I was like, okay, let me just have a quick look and see what this is selling for on eBay. So I did. And then um, I saw that it was cheaper to get it on eBay than it would be to get through Macari. So I was like, cool, bam, bam, let's get that. Stunning, beautiful, everything. Nothing much to say about that either. This is a summer package photo and then we have the winter package again it doesn't fit into a full pocket so i'm gonna have to look for a bigger full pocket but what a stunning photo do you know what the photo my favorite photo of this is the one where um it was on instagram they released it on instagram and he's like doing the gun thing listen that photo takes my breath away it's my header on twitter because I just look at it every time and I fall deeper and deeper in love with him, I swear to God. So, um, I just love his whole, like, attitude in these photo shoots. Like, that winter package really blew me away. And I don't really, like, buy things. Like, I'm not that kind of collector. Like, I would rather buy, like, Tay's inclusions than buy, like, the whole thing. Just because I don't like collecting things like that. Like, I don't like having loads of stuff if that makes sense so um and I've got no room to put it really to be honest because I've got like bookcases in my rooms and thing in my room and things so um but I saw that the whole concept of that winter package just blew me away and then his photos as well I was like I need that in my life to be honest with you so I was like okay sure stunning the outfit the face the attitude the poses love um, and that's all we have to say about that okay so then we have this was new okay so daikon i saw this like when it first was like ready for pre-order i saw it and i just never back then i wasn't really in i wasn't collecting or like i wasn't really into that whole collecting mindset like need to get everything and then it came out and i saw everyone getting it and then i looked at properly what it was and i was like okay i too need to have that so um i bought it I don't like the way that this is laid out at the moment. Um, it is subject to change. I have an idea of what to do with this page, but I need to get... So I didn't get the OT7 one because it was sold out by the time. So I got mine in the second drop of it. Like the first ones have gone, everything had sold out and then everyone was like upset, like, please release more. So they did. And I didn't even get it in the English version. I just got it in Korean. Um, so I didn't have the opportunity to get like an ot7 one because it sold out they only had one left in the restock they said so i was like okay cool so i need to get the one his photo card that comes with the ot7 set um and put it in and then i'll move these down move this down and put that one put the one that i'm missing here um and do something like with the top but i don't know i was trying to find something to do the top with and I couldn't find what I was looking for. So I don't know what's going to happen with that. But I have to say my favourite card of these five. Can you guess? Can you like guess which one it will be? Of course it will be this one. <laughs> like This is, I love this card. So I, this is like my second favourite. Like it came close. But oh my god, just look how stunning he looks in that like photo. It's crazy. He is generally the most good looking man I've ever seen in my life. I swear to God, like, that's not even a lie. He is just breathtaking in every sense of the word. So, yeah, that's my favourite one. He just looks just out of this world. Out of this world. Just crazy. That's what he looks like. I love it. I love that card. 
Um, so much. This is like a strong contender for second, but because it's cute, I love shit like that. But that one, I just love it when they just look like oh, a bit rugged, you know? Looks a bit rugged there. Love it. And then this, I don't like the way that this is like stored, but um, I don't know how else to store it because I like the photo. I wanted it to be in my binder because I like the photos that are on it and that's a lenticular as well. Beautiful. That's a lenticular. So, um, yeah, I was like, okay, let me just put them in two pockets, but I don't like this because I feel like it's a bit bulky, you know? I don't like, like, bulky stuff. So, I might move these out, but he just looks so good, out of this world, stunning. Can we just say, oh, beautiful. Mm. Yes, we love it here. Bubbles! Love bubbles. Um, yeah, so that's where this... Thing came in it wouldn't fit without being like huge like bulky off the page I had to take it off but I don't know what to do with it and obviously I'm not gonna throw it away so that's what it was in so I just kept it there and then the last two pages this is like one of the first few things I bought as well actually when I was just like anything with space on let me just get it now um this uh this one's actually quite special to me because i went this was the first time ever in my whole entire life that i went to the cinema on my own to watch break the silence this is break the silence isn't it i'm not going crazy okay if that's not break the silence then i'm an idiot but i'm sure that it is so yeah like i had to get that card because that's the first time i ever went to the cinema on my own and that, that was like a really good experience so yeah and then the bring the soul one this is like promo kind of stuff um subject to change again and then this is the bt perfumes thing this is one of the first things i bought too so there's a cute uh yeah so that's it this was just what i said that i put the bam bam con things in before uh yeah uh i don't think i'll put it back to these so this will probably get taken out of the binder but that is everything I guess for my first three months I'm so like proud of everything that I've managed to collect in three months because this is not a cheap hobby like this can run you some real money like this shit costs but um yeah I'm happy with everything that I've got uh, I'm gonna probably change how everything looks but I am excited for what my binder looks like at the end of the year. So I want to do, originally I was going to do one in like, whoa, the sunlight has just come in. It's glimmering. Originally I was going to do one um, in June or July, whatever the sixth month of the year is. January, February, March, April, May, June. See, I'm such a dumbass. I had to count that. June, that's my friend's birthday month as well. How embarrassing. Um, but I was going to do one in June, a six month update, just to show what my binder looked like. But I thought, hmm. Now I've got a YouTube channel. I can just do one every four months, right? Or, yeah, every quarter of the year. Uh, I am happy with all the progress that I've made, obviously, as I said. Uh, I'm excited for where it goes. The sunlight is just coming out and everything is, like, beaming. I'm so happy with my plant. You can see it, like, that shadow there. Sorry. But, um, yeah, no, I was really happy to collect everything that I've collected. I'm so grateful, so thankful. As I said, it's not a cheap hobby. It can be quite expensive, but I'm lucky that I'm pri privileged enough to be able to collect their stuff. Uh, if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, share. Uh, that'd be really gratefully appreciated. Uh, stay tuned for more things. I think my next video, I know what it is, and I'm like really excited to film that one. So um, stay tuned for that one. You shall see it fairly soon. And I shall see you in the next one. Bye, sweethearts.